we're back. <laughs> so, wait, no, we're not back. Now we're back. Sorry, guys, I was a little premature on the, uh... He's always premature on that shit. You know how I'm tired, you know I, what I mean, I man? I set you up for that. <laughs> Don't Thank even... You. I'll, I'll Venmo you later. <laughs> yeah. One cent. Mmm. Yeah, so I, that's, a, that's a one cent charge right there. One cent? Yeah, one cent. You fucking Jew. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still on this Jewish Santa Claus thing. Well, here's my thing about Jewish Santa Claus. What right? do you think about him? Why, why the fuck can't that? Why can't he exist? Why can't he be a real guy? I don't. Know, well, uh, why can't I'm just saying why, why, why can't Santa Claus just be like non-denominational? Well, okay. In all fairness, racism comes from ignorance, right? It comes from a place of ignorance. Yes. What are you implying? Where? So on Hanukkah, you get the present every day, right? Yeah. Um, is there like lore? To, like, why you get a present every day? No, no, it's competing with Christmas. <laughs> Are you serious? Dude, yeah, yeah, no, I'm not. Really? I'm, yes. So, like, um, all the Jewish and Christian holidays overlap. Uh. Passover, Easter, you know, Halloween, Purim, the, the, you know, they're, they, all, they all overlap. But, uh, mm. you know, Christmas and Hanukkah, they overlap, too. And, and Hanukkah is about, like, most of our holidays, a military victory. Yeah. Where someone was trying to kill all of, uh, all of us, and then, uh, and it didn't happen. We ended up winning, which is, which is, like, the story of the Jews, is, like, we never should win. Like, we should just be losing all the time, but it doesn't happen. Oh. So, uh, all of our, all of our holidays are, like, you know, celebrate, celebrating that. And then, uh... So we had this guy, uh, Judah Maccabee. He was a warrior. Uh, you know, there was a war, and uh, we shouldn't have won. Wait. We won. I'm sorry. Uh, so you have to go f get that orange thing up there, right? Yeah, I have to figure that out. So there's there. a red key up there, and then you get the. Yeah, go. Here up. we go. And then, so. Oh, go okay. To the side. And over. To That's, the That's what I was doing wrong. This is, this is how we do it. This is how we do it. Oh, it's man. Friday night. It's not. I Friday. put on. I put on a nineties playlist in the store the other day, and like oh, yeah? I forgot how much I love that. Fuck, I love Montel. <laughs> I love Montel. It was a wonderful period. I'm sorry, but uh, yeah, now so, that you got um, this, but go on, please. Yeah, so uh, that was basically like, oh hey, you know, Christmas people get presents, and then it was like, well, you know, we can't. Not we can't not present thing. Yeah. Oh, okay. And then it was like, well, there's eight nights. What night do we give it on? We'll just do it every presents. night. Every night. Do you know where the end is? Uh, okay. Uh, do I know do. where the end is? Do does he know where the end is? Clearly, it's there. So yeah, no. Um, that that. Whoa. Um, oh, six hundred and fifty-two. You have six hundred and fifty-two chips. Man, just it's like Doctor Mario. Nothing like this is like Dr. Mario. No, 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 not at all. Oh, there's monsters. Oh, you gotta be smart about it because they can't get through the chips. Yeah, I got a plan, yo. So you gotta but, keep going um, in the spiral. I saw a menorah uh, today at Goodwill. Cool. Anyway, um, remember, it could be worse. Uh, you <laughs> it could, could be grow... worse. You could have seen... Uh, you could grow uh, an opposable forehead and then sprain it. What would be worse than that? What? Yeah, what? You grew an opposable forehead. An opposable forehead! And then you sprained your opposable me. forehead. Forgive me! I'm having trouble picturing an opposable forehead! Well, imagine if you grew an opposable forehead and then you sprained it. I'm looking at my thumb and going, oh, that's opposable! But when yeah. you say opposable forehead. <laughs> Ben, that, please explain! That would suck. <laughs> and spraining it would be even worse. Are you saying if the forehead had a joint? Yeah. <laughs> and then you sprained it. And you can, like, bend it like your and elbow. And you went into the hospital, like, doctor, I sprained my... Oops! Where did that you go to the doctor, you're, you sprain your opposable forehead. You sprain and you your run opposable into, forehead. you run into a group of uh, teeth, and you go, oops. That was kind of weak. You can get Shut up! I'm not weak, you're weak. Are you calling me weak, bro? I bet you can do more push-ups than me. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's how I... 
Oh, dude, you know what? I wanted to uh, mention to you for the past uh, couple weeks. No, what? Uh, Mario Odyssey came out. Oh, great game. Have you played it? I beat it. There you have it. Yeah, with Josh. <laughs> there you have it. We, uh, we played together. You said his last name. I didn't. <laughs> Because you're gonna edit that out of the video. That's right. You know, the only last name we kept in was like Alex Austin, because like, who the fuck? Is <laughs> no, because he doesn't fucking. It's like, well, whatever. yeah, but I mean, no, I don't. No disrespect. No, it's not disrespectful. That what I meant by that was just like, I don't know. I don't know if like that would impact him at all. I don't think it, it would. That's why I love him. Yeah, exactly. That's why I'm saying like, I Chris. Because Chris uh, said it in uh, uh, one or two Mario 64 episodes, and I was like, I ain't kidding. <laughs> I'm sure he wouldn't care, really. Like, it was a mention, it's not a keyword, you know, that people can look up, like, I don't know. Yeah, if you Google it, you probably won't find exactly. what yeah. you're looking for. But I'm sure, like, uh, like a lot Social of... Social security numbers and such. I don't know, I think uh, more people that we do mention, like, would mind about uh, that sort of thing, but, and I'm trying to be mindful, but, like... Knowing him, and like I still consider him to be like one of my best friends. So I, I yeah, I still consider him to be one of your best friends too. Not mine though. I don't care for him. Ooh, <laughs> painful. You hear that, Alex? Austin. No, I'm kidding. I love <laughs> you, dude. Um, I still have to say he texted me uh, the other day how much he loved me and he misses me. Dude, and, I love uh, him too. I totally, I haven't uh, texted him. I'm a horrible person for it. Yeah, you're pretty crappy. Yeah, you know, I know. Right? I've just been... I know. I know. I, I, I can't use the busy excuse. It, it was like one of those things where like, I got the text and I was like, oh, I'll text him later. And then I wake up like, oh, I'll text him a little bit. And then it's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> now it's like awkwardly <laughs> like long. Yeah. But, uh, I'm sorry. Dude, uh, I really wanted to go out and see... I should be there right now. I should, I should be seeing him, but... No, that's okay. Yeah, things came Personal up. Personal stories. Things... I mean, uh, that, that's not a good time for the video, but, uh, yeah, dude. Maybe I'll fly out there in a plane. I gotta but, go see him. But, um... Anyway. Uh, what, what, I brought up Mario Odyssey because, um... I brought up Josh... <laughs> Stop it! Yeah, the last Stop name. Stop it! God, um... I, I, I bring Mario Odyssey up because, um, to get, like, one of the moons, which is, like, a star in that game... Is yeah. like uh, you have to do this Koopa race, like Mario 64, except you race five Koopas, and you got to talk to one of the Koopas. Oh wow, nice! Go Bitbuster! Nice. Go Bitbuster! We got to talk to one of the Koopas, mm. and he tells you about the race. And before you say yes or no to accept the race, he goes, "You want to race, bro?" <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking serious, Wonderful. dude. I'm dead serious. He says that, and for the uninformed, which is all of you. Um, I mean, it was a couple of years ago where it was just, was it, um, Alex who came up with it? Not the, uh, pasta, Alex Austin, we were talking about, but the other Alex. He was just telling people in bars, like, <laughs> he, like, he would just get riled up with them and just, like, out of nowhere, you want a race, bro? And that was the funniest fucking, and I think that derived because, like, um, we had Jeff Gordon hung up at Mount Hope. Yeah, you remember we that? did. We had it. We had Jeff, Jeff Gordon, good old, good old Jeff, Jeff at, Jr. At like uh, Chris, Chris's first apartment, uh, and then Bender lived with him too. That Whoa, was that was freaky. Apartment. Uh, yeah, that was a that was a party apartment. A party mint. Party mint. Um, like there was like I I don't know what was it a cardboard cutout of fucking Jeff Gordon? Yeah, Jeff <laughs> gave that as a as a nice Stop. little gift. Stop. Doing that, you son of a! You're the worst. We're on a day calling episode where you said literally to bug me. You said everybody's no, last name. No, it wasn't to bug you. It was yes, to, it was. It was to give you uh, work to do later. Oh, like because I because editing isn't hard enough already. Yeah, you piece pretty, of shit. It's pretty okay. <laughs> um, I want yeah, I want to see you edit this one. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you edit this video. <laughs> Did you do a good job? No. Because I did it. God. Was it... Okay. So, Jay gave it to you. It was a cardboard cutout, right? Yes. And, like, was it a whiteboard speech bubble? Or did you guys, like, write, like, the speech bubble out of paper every time? Like, every day he'd say something <laughs> different. <laughs> he had a lot on his mind. 
And I think that's where, like, you want to race... Neo, NASCAR. You want to race, bro, like, eventually came from. And, uh, eventually... I remember, like, Fon Fonty... I said Fonty. I know what you did. I said Fonty. Oh, I just figured this out. I'm stupid. All right, continue. Yes. Uh, I think... Well, Fonty... I, I remember him saying that to people at the Blarney. Like, I remember just, like, ha having... There's vague memories of nights where it was just kind of, like, very vague and blurry. And I was like, you want a race bro? One time he threw, like... he. I was sitting in a chair, and he's like, yo, yo, fuck it, I'm so rich, dude. See all these bills? See all these bills? He's waving all his 20s, and he throws them all at me, and his 20s go all over in this crowded bar. And I'm like, and I'm helping him, like, scoop them up, like... That was funny, dude, I guess, but, like, you shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> like, we were gonna take these. We need them. We need these. For beer. <laughs> oh, my God. Are you... Yeah, no, do you I, know, um, Do you know how to get, get through this? Oh, no, I am a master of a champion. All right, well, the so, audience, um, audience will be waiting. All right. No, no, we're not going. You are gonna try to finish this. Come on. Oh, okay, Come, let's okay. Go. Let's okay, go. Okay. You know, if you know what to do, are you warping those blocks? Oh, Jesus. Oh, so you gotta do that with... Oh, my Don't be God. stupid, Sean. No, I'm just Don't like, you got... Stupid. It's three chips, but you gotta do that with six blocks. <clears throat> Dude. Wow, this is, like, really particular. It's like, um... John Paul II, the Pope from the 70s, once said, um... What did he say? Money over bitches. <laughs> and that was him. Of course, you would be the friend that would know that. Yeah. You're that friend. <laughs> yeah, that's what he said. That did you like know what this friends. Pope said in this particular time frame? No, Ben, I don't. That's what he said. Were there Popes in the Old Testament? Um, yes. Oh, okay. I don't yeah. know too much about the Bible. Yeah, um... I, I know, my, my focus is mainly, mainly, uh, you know Scientology best, and Mormonism. The best thing about the Bible is, uh, chapter 17, verse 38. Uh, Jesus says to the Lord, Hey, what's up, hello? And then the Lord says to Jesus, Yeah, baby. That's probably the best part. <laughs> no, it's the... <laughs> What? Did he say that? Yeah. That's incredible. Just look up chapter 17, verse 38, and that's what you'll Is get. Is the joke that doesn't exist? And, uh... Oh! <laughs> I just got this it. This guy. 17, 38. Yeah, uh, baby. And uh, next time I become a little smarter and I get, I pick up on more jokes.